As countries across the OECS prepare to celebrate Caribbean Wellness Day, the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has significantly enhanced its observance with a full week of activities aimed at promoting health and wellness. This year's theme, Power Through Collective Action, emphasizes the importance of collaboration in raising awareness about wellness and encouraging positive lifestyle choices across the nation. The ministry has engaged a wide range of stakeholders to amplify the message of collective responsibility in fostering healthier communities. Senior Medical Officer for Non-Communicable Diseases in the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Dr. Shanna Sir filbert shared some background information on Caribbean Wellness Day. In the month of September, we celebrate Caribbean Wellness. There is um, Caribbean Wellness Day, which is celebrated every second Saturday of the month of September. And that dates back to 2007, where our CARICOM heads came together and decided that non-communicable diseases like diabetes, cancers, um, heart attacks and strokes, those were affecting our populations quite a bit and so they looked at raising awareness for the risk factors for those diseases. So every September we um, take part in multiple activities to raise awareness of what our NCDs and our risk factors. The week of activities began on Friday, September 6 with a wellness and sports fair at the Leon Hess Secondary School and will conclude on Sunday, September 15th. On Friday the 13th of September, next Friday, we're going to be at the Miku Wellness Center of Excellence for Non-Communicable Diseases. And we're going to take it south. We're going to be there. We're going to have a health fair. I'm, I'm hoping that the public will, will support this health fair. We're going to look at maintaining health and wellness across the life course we're going to be focusing on from from babe from well from pregnancy which is where it all starts to the elderly and you will have various healthcare professionals etc at different groups one of the standout features of this year's commemoration is the caribbean wellness day walk which promotes physical activity across various age groups and communities we have our second annual caribbean wellness day walk and of course, um, we, 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 we've always gotten it, or everything is in the north. So this year we're doing some south activities. Um, we're going down to Labrie. So we're going to walk from Viewfort, Philip Master Grounds, from 6 in the morning on Sunday the 15th, up to Labrie Playing Field. We're going to, when we get there, get some coconut water, you know, relax a bit, you know, we're next to the beach. And then we're going to have a little, um, just, we just going to have some sporting activities, some fun spots in the morning, up until about midday, just to enjoy the day and, and just, just enjoy the Sunday. Yes, so these are the things we have planned for Caribbean Wellness. Of course, we're inviting all solutions to participate. The ministry hopes these efforts will drive home the importance of maintaining a healthy balance in everyday life, with a particular focus on reducing the prevalence of non-communicable diseases through increased physical activity and better lifestyle choices. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.